How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another streaming video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Restream. Restream is basically a service that allows you to reach out to multiple platforms at the same time. Now there are some limitations to this in terms of adding additional delay and also if you are an affiliate for Twitch or a partner for Twitch then you're not able to use Restream. They also have it to where some websites that do offer streaming require a paid subscription with Restream to be able to use it. But I'm gonna go through pretty much how to set it up and kind of show you how the whole navigation works with Restream if you're interested in using it. So first things first, you're gonna sign up. Once you sign up, go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna log in for you guys here. And this is what your dashboard is going to present. Now you're not going to have anything here. I already have these two set up, but I'm going to show you how you can go and add in additional ones for you. So first things first, you have your dashboard, you have titles where you can set it up for whatever your stream title is and you can update them all. Same thing with the game. And then they also have social alerts. So you can use that for like your Twitter or if you have a discord or Facebook and you can connect all those things and the message you have down here will then be presented whenever you go and go live. And then over here, you'll have additional things as well. So you have the chat. They have their own little tiny like chat widget that you can use. And you also can see your analytics. You can have a scheduler. And then there's also more information here if you pop it open. So you don't have to really worry about all this when you're first starting. I mean, you can mess with your account and settings and stuff like that. But the main thing that you're going to be looking at is going to be the multi streaming. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a channel. So when we add a channel, you have all of these here, but these are the ones that require a paid subscription. So if you're wanting to stream to Facebook, unfortunately, you won't be able to unless you pay for it. So you got a lot of different ones you can choose from. And I'm just going to show you how to add a basic one here, like YouTube gaming. So for here, you're going to go and connect your YouTube account, or you can set it up manually. I'm just going to do it through the connect and you're going to choose your profile. You're going to read this stuff. If you agree with the information that they're asking for, then you can click allow. And there it is added. So. Over on the right hand side here, you can either toggle individual ones to be on and off or you can have them all on. And then if we go back to titles, we'll say stream and then we'll do update all. And now all the titles across all these platforms are going to be the same. Now for a game, let's say we're doing Borderlands 2. So we'll update all. And now each one is going to show Borderlands 2. YouTube is a little funny with this, and I've used Restream many times. Unfortunately for YouTube, you'll have to go in there and do it itself on the on the YouTube platform, which isn't too big of a deal. Uh, it's very easy to go and do that because YouTube has it set up for more of your traditional style of uploading a video. Because whenever you finish a stream over on YouTube Gaming, it becomes its own video. So you have all the SEO, like your metadata, like your tags, description, and so on and so forth. So that's why there's that little hiccup there in terms of that. So then if we go over to dashboard, I want to show you guys this over here. So whenever you are going to be using Restream, if you go into like OBS, which I'm going to show you here, I'm going to grab my OBS. So when you go into your, not output, your stream, you're going to do the custom or you can, whoops. So if you do stream services, you can find Restream right here. Now Restream has the FTL, which is nice, but I believe the FTL is only for Mixer at this time. And it's something new that they, that they just started doing. But for all of these, it's usually going to be the RTMP, which is going to add a delay. So naturally, if there is a four second delay on Mixer, now there's going to be a six second delay. If there's a five second delay on Twitch, now there's going to be a seven. The reason why is because Restream adds an extra two seconds of delay time. So if we do custom, 
what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna grab this right here. So we'll copy this. We'll get our OBS back. We'll put it here. And then we'll grab our stream key And then we will add that there. And then you'll hit done and then you'll be able to set it up. Now, if you do the streaming service and if you choose to do RTMP, then all you gotta do is put your stream key in and you'll be all set. The other thing too, is you can choose the different areas. So if you're not in the US, you could choose a different location and that way it can help you out as well. The other thing that they added that's new is a webcam. Um, I haven't messed with this, but I don't want to give you guys information on that unless I know. So I'll mess with this on my own time and then maybe come back to it. But if you guys want to mess with it yourself, go for it. If you do need to talk to anybody, they have a 24 hour uh, chat that you guys can ping and ask any questions. And then for the upgrade side of things, here's where you have the different types of plans. So if you're wanting to stream to Facebook, you can do one Facebook channel and that's going to be about $20 a month. So each one of these kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to be paying, what you're going to be getting out of it and so on and so forth. I personally wouldn't use this if I was going to be restreaming to like Facebook or something like that, just because if you're new, there's really no reason to go and shovel out $20 if you're not making any money streaming. If you're gonna try Facebook gaming, try doing it just on Facebook and see how you like it. But for the ones that are free, you definitely have plenty to go off of. So that's definitely good for us. I mean, you got all of these different ones to choose from and there's plenty for you to be able to do it for free. Especially with these main three right here, Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube gaming. Now, if, like I said, if you're not an affiliate, then you'll be good to go if you wanted to do restream on all three. And who knows, maybe one of these will actually do really well for you, but that is really much, that's pretty much how you set up the restream and everything like that. And you should be good to go. Now you can only do this if you are using a computer to stream off of. If you're using just your console and you're streaming directly off your console, you cannot use this option. Even if you're using Lightstream, you cannot use this option. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about Restream. If you have any questions about Restream, if I missed anything, and so on and so forth. If you use it, let us know what you think about it in the comments. Also, if you are new to the channel, you're wanting to learn how to stream, definitely go ahead, take a look around. I got plenty of tutorials to help you out. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.